you were on stage as well, you know, a couple of months after when Dave Chappelle was attacked. I actually oh, saw yeah. you in the back. I remember seeing you sort of come out and just, you, were, you kind of looked a little bit like security, but maybe not the most. Yeah, me and, me and well, security, <laughs> so when, when Dave got uh, rushed, uh, I mean, it's very scary because, it, you know, it could have gone another way. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, the guy had a knife, albeit a knife in a gun. It was it was a it was a kind of a fake gun that pressed a button and a knife came out. It was a it was a um, yes it was a, it was a, it was a, it was a knife that identified as a gun maybe I don't know anyway so um, yeah I remember I was standing with Jeff Ross on the side of the stage and then and then this this sort of thing happened and it was uh, yeah it was it's crazy crazy scary had he got his ass beat the, the person that ran out and was mm. stomped out by like. Well, he got the reason he got stomped out wasn't it wasn't um, uh, malice. It was he wouldn't let go of the gun knife. Oh, so really? The guy had a gun, what looked like a gun. I mean, it was a gun, and he wouldn't let go of it. And they, I think, um, the security guys um, uh, broke his arm trying really? to get, getting the getting the gun off him. But yeah, but um, what are you going to do? Let the guy have the gun? Yeah. Like it's a, it's you know, it's very, very yeah, pretty scary, uh, scary thing. Are try- times changing in terms of violence towards comedians? Is it- no, I think no? so. I think they're... They're isolated into... Uh, Eddie Murphy had the best line on it. Eddie Murphy said, uh, he said, Will Smith, when he slapped Chris Rock, rang the dinner bell for crazy. All the crazies came out for a couple of, couple of weeks. The guy rushes um, Chappelle. It's not... It's not a great situation. I mean, it's like, it's a, it's a scary thing when you think, you know, friends getting rushed by someone with a knife. And you sort of think of, well, what could have happened? But he was fine and obviously, you know, was shaken in the moment, but he was pretty, pretty philosophical about it. Anyone ever attacked you on stage? No. I mean... Threatened you? I, yeah, I've been, I've been threatened a little bit, but okay. It's not part of the game, I guess. I mean, it's like, it's that weird thing of like, when you, there's a, there's a routine in it. I talk a little bit about uh, being cancelled on the on the special and you talk about like what i'm going to do next time because it's going to happen again right so the next time i get cancelled i've got a plan here's what i'm going to do i'm going to say <clears throat> i've rehearsed this i'm going to make a public statement on the day the news story breaks i'm going to say i'm sorry and the people that are offended will say you don't really mean that apology and i'll say so you're saying i could say something and not mean it now you're getting it <laughs> <laughs> ah smart mm. But it's that it's their jokes. You can't go around apologizing for jokes. I'm exceptionally excited to sit down and watch your Netflix special, Natural Born Killer, which came out on April 16th. There's been a lot of conversation around it because I think a lot of people are acknowledging that you've adopted a slightly different style to the past, and everyone's excited to see this this newer Jimmy, this this heavily iterated, uh, optimized version of Jimmy that's taken 51 years to produce and I always talk to people about our last conversation and you telling me that even you at at the peak of the mountain in many people's eyes are still trying to find small marginal gains and and challenge yourself and come out of your comfort zone and I think that's exactly what you do in this special. I've been fortunate enough to see some of the the jokes and the angles in the special and I think for some reason it feels to me like society needs to have some of these conversations as well. So what even though there is humor there underneath the the, the jokes you tell there's um I think there's an underlying important message that's greeting society at the right moment. I very much appreciate that. Is that accurate? Is that an accurate assessment? I think it is. I think it's, I, I, it has, it is different to the last special and it's got more of me in it. And it's like, I'm in a very privileged position where people, you know, some people listen to me uh, and I have my audience. I know what my audience are. So I can, I can get a message in under the wire uh, that other people can't really talk about. And so that thing of going, if I'm doing sex ed, I do sex ed in my way, and it's very funny, but it's getting a message across to young men that I think is very valuable. Last time we spoke, you expressed an aspiration, an ambition you had. You said, I think we were talking about Dave Chappelle, and you said you wanted to do longer form jokes. You yeah. Know. So there's, there's some stuff in the new show. So there's like 20 minutes on being a dad um, that I think is really funny. And I wanted it to fit within my persona as well. Because a lot of people sort of become fathers and they get a bit sentimental and they lose some of their edge. So the stuff that I've got about being a father is, uh, is brutal. But it's funny. 
It's funny. It's, it's a funny thing to, to kind of experience as well. It's something kind of new to talk about. Who's your favorite comic of all time? Chris Rock. Really? Chris Rock by, yeah, Chris Rock, I think. The, uh, the, the, I've, I mean, I've had the great pleasure of working with Chris as well, and he's an extraordinary talent. The, uh, the, the rhythm and cadence and the points that he makes and the way that he sets up material, um, the way that he delivers a punchline, that just everything about it from sort of a technical point of view, I admire. And I love what he says. I, I, I just think he's, he's, he's just fucking hilarious. And I see the work. I see what he does. I see the work that he does now. He's, he's been a legendary next level performer for 30 years and he's still working just as hard. And you gotta love that. What did you make of the slap? Well, I mean, obviously it's just, I mean, it's, it's, there's no, there's no, um, there's no argument. That's, it's, uh, it's a, uh, I, I was, I was shocked. You know, it, it strikes me that, uh, Will Smith may be the greatest actor of his generation because he was pretending to be an entirely different human being for the last 40 years. And the mask slipped. And we saw, a, a, yeah, a different side. And I think Chris, really the extraordinary thing about that moment was Chris Rock got slapped in the face. His level of composure was, he was like a Hindu cow. Get slapped in the face by a big dude, right, hard, I just got slapped in the face. That's going to be a huge TV moment. Here's the award. He's to be admired. Incredible man. If you love the Diver CEO brand and you watch this channel, please do me a huge favor. Become part of the 15% of the viewers on this channel that have hit the subscribe button. It helps us tremendously. And the bigger the channel gets, the bigger the guests.